Top of the morning to you. I hope you're all fine and dandy and keeping ahead of the game. And it is a game. And each one of us get to play our part. Welcome to part 9b of Starfort, Star Citadels and Ancient Salt Waterways. And what we're going to look at today is I'm going to continue on from um, the last video there, Starforts, um, that we looked at. And I abruptly got cut off, um, and our net was lagging, and then suddenly it just poof, died on me when I was talking about Donald Trump. But today we're going to actually look at, in some way, a connection to um, golf clubs. It's a big club, and you're not part of it. Uh, we're going to look at uh, star forts, waterways, and we'll just continue on where I finished off on part A. And um, where we were, we're in Aberdeen, or just south of Aberdeen, in Scotland, formerly known as Albion, Alba, and we're in a little place, um, picking off, as I said, picking up, sorry, from where we were before, in a little place called Cove, uh, just south of Aberdeen. Now, in previous recordings, I suggest that you look at the previous recordings because I'm trying to build up a picture here of um, our environment and where where we actually live. And I'm trying to show how these people who should not be, those people who are in power through the royal houses of Europe, uh, people such as Trump, Putin, any, any world leader really, I'm trying to show how these people um, have hidden our past, hidden the environment that's around us, and um, still use this environment today uh, to control us. So, where we were before is this little place called Cove, and um, I pointed out that there's a large structure here, which is a dam, and the water would have come in here, you can see that it comes in through here. There's a dam up there in this area where the water has been blocked. And um, most of the water has been drained. And it's been drained. People ask, well, how, how, was it, how did they get rid of all the water? Well, they've drained it through quarrying, mining, forestry, agriculture. Um, basically, they've drained the water any way they could by digging into the ground and allowing the water to, to seep down. So here we are back at Cove um, and I'll just say as well this is the same all over the world it doesn't matter where you go it's the same all over. If, um, if you have been following my work and you follow my work on Facebook you'll see that um, what I do is actually study the stars. I began my journey studying standing stones when I was a young boy 10, 12 year old. I took a an avid interest in it by the time I was 12, 13 and um, I began to map the heavens over the area that I grew up in when I was 12, 13 and that was here in Aberdeenshire and I actually mapped the House of Cephas over this area, uh, the House of Cygnus the Swan and, and so on. Uh, I'll put a map in right here so that you can see how um, the constellations and the standing stones are all laid out uh, according to the heavens. And that is what we're going to talk about today. I'm going to briefly try and cover <coughs> what standing stones are and how they sit alongside these ancient waterways, which are now depleted, which are now drained and gone. Water is power, water is energy, and um, they've taken the waterways away from us. Uh, and built roads over them and embankments and railway embankments on what was former waterways. And they have us travelling up and down these ancient roads, which were waterways, in order to harness our energy. And a lot of people ask me about Donald Trump. Uh, is he a good guy? Is he a bad guy? Well, if anybody studies, um, <laughs> studies skeletal structures and um, the way people move and walk, He's not a guy at all, it's a woman, and he's a great deceiver. No, he's not a good guy, no, he's not there to help you, and by the end of this video today, I'll be able to show what, why he's buying up golf courses, why he buys up land, 
and um, how he made his wealth basically uh, where your energy is focused um, well, <laughs> he's foc focusing on where the energies once were and um, um, he's, a, he's a deceiver or she's a deceiver it's a woman um, so so let's go back to Cove where we were so right we're just at Cove Bay picking up from where I got cut off before and what we were showing here is this massive structure um, a brick structure which is just blocking you can see this wall here um, it's blocking what was an ancient water where you can actually see the grooves where they put a large wall in and then they built the railway embankment on top of it. Now people will say oh it's just because they had to construct a railway. No it wasn't. This was a waterway and the water gave us power, gave us free energy and these scoundrels <laughs> who aren't even living beings like us these fallen angels have came and blocked them all up. Now, what are the waterways? Uh, the waterways are, people talk about as above, so below. Well, the waterways down here are the dark spaces between the stars. So this area here, I showed earlier on, and I'll put it in again, the map. Um, this area here, you have the Cephas, you have Cygnus the Swan, you have Cassiopeia, you have Andromeda, and all this is all over. And then the central belt is Orion, Orion's belt, obviously. That's you know, and Orion's belt was the area in all cultures, but you'll see this, um, you can find this quite easily within the Egyptian uh, stories. That Orion's belt was where um, the Pharaoh and all of us, really, all of us had to make our way through Orion's belt and up into the house of Cephas first coming through the Taurus, the Taurus field which sits over Glasgow, then arriving in the Aries, then up through the Triangulum, then up into Andromeda. Uh, Andromeda is the one who Perseus in the Greek story is rescued from the Kraken and the Kraken is the beast. We just had uh, also known as the Leviathan and this is why we get the area here known as Lothian. Uh, Leviathan uh, is the great beast we recently had the virus I think I just said that uh, the Kraken uh, I think it was just last year uh, you move from there Andromeda gets rescued from Perseus as Perseus sits over the Perth area obviously <coughs> and in the Greek story he marries Andromeda and Cassiopeia and <coughs> who's the mother <coughs> excuse me got a tickly cough who's the mother of Adrom Andromeda Andromeda, <laughs> uh, and the wife of uh, Cephas sits over Aberdeen. Uh, King of, um, Cephas is the word Peter, and um, the word Peter in, in Hebraic thought is Kepha, where we get the word Cephas, and um, it's Peter's pearly gates. So the great journey through Orion's belt wasn't the final uh, part of the journey. You had to come to the Lamb of God, which was over, which is and still is over Edinburgh, Aries. Uh, from there, you had to make your way through the Triangulum, and then up through into Andromeda, then into Cassiopeia, um, then into the House of Cephas, which is the House of Resurrection. And this is why uh, Queenie, or whatever it was, Elizabeth, um, died at Balmoral because the House of Cephas, which is the House of Resurrection. Uh, known as Peter's Pearly Gates, Peter, Kiefer, um, Cephas, it's Peter's Pearly Gates. You have to come to Peter's Pearly Gates in order to rise up into um, Cygnus Swan, which is the Northern Cross, and then you make your way over into the area known as the Great Bear, which sits over this whole area of Scotland, uh, Arthur the Great Bear, Ursa Major, and then Ursa Minor, uh, Thuban, uh, the star Thuban and the Pol Polaris all sit in this area and this is the let's say the cradle of no it's not the cradle of civilization it's the point of creation um, this from here all creation was made and 
out, you know, and the garden was created from this point in the heavens. Not, not specifically this point, but Arthur, Ursa Major, moves around this area. And this is why we see um, in Germany, Nazism and Hinduism, we see the the Nats, the symbol, um, which is known as the swastika, um, it actually represents the movement of Arthur in an anti-clockwise direction, uh, the plough giving us the shape of the swastika, and everything comes from Arthur's wheel, or Arthur's wain, and I think I've mentioned before, uh, in Scotland we see a, chi uh, a child uh, is a wain, the word for child in Scotland is a wane. That's the wane's toy, that's the wane's car, that's the wane's... Take the wane to the shop, take the child to the shop. And it all comes from the ancient Gallic, uh, Proto-Gallic, Proto Celtic, which is Arthur. And, you know, when we read the New Testament, I'll, I'll just slip this in as well, when um, the disciples, the disciplines, the ones who are disciplined, the twelve houses, when the disciples come to Jesus, the Messiah, they ask him, teach us to pray. And how does he begin that? He says, Our Father. So you've got Arthur the Great Bear and Ursa Minor. Ursa Major and Ursa Minor. Ursa Minor is the little bear. And he, what, did, what does the Messiah say? In the Old English, the word is, our, or the, the phrase, Our Father who art in heaven. That word art is the word the Celtic, pro-Celtic, pro Gaelic, uh, Pictish, um, and word for uh, bear. Art is bear. So when, when Jesus says, Our Father, who art in heaven, he's pointing us to Arthur, the great wheel. The great wheel that spins and manifests to the ends of the earth. And anybody who follows my work will know that the spine of Albion runs straight through Britain here. Um, straight through Britain and just here is Arthur's wheel right in the centre where the spine of Albion goes so the great tree of life is the spine of Albion and all time needless to say all time is measured as Greenwich the Green Witch meantime GMT so if you live in Canada you may be nine hours ahead if you're in Australia you're Ten hours behind, or so on, so on. So, or, sorry, it'd be the other way around. In Australia, we've been ten hours ahead, nine hours behind in America. Um, so everything's calculated from Arthur's wheel or from Arthur's wain, which is the Scottish word for child. And the reason why is because you've got Ursa Major and Ursa Minor, the child, the little bear, and in between it you have Draco coming down. And Draco sits over Balmoral. But we'll not go too far into this. What what I was trying to show there, or what I was trying to say there, is the waterways ab uh, that are here on the earth, as above, so below. The waterways that are or were once here on the, on the earth were salt waterways. And they're representative of the dark spaces, the voids between the stars. So when we look up into the, st the stars there in the heavens, we will see Ursa Major. And we'll see Ursa Minor. And then we'll see the Draco between them. And we'll see dark areas between them. Well, these are all the waterways in in Aberdeen Shire, which I am trying to show just now. And I started this journey, as I said at the beginning, I started this journey uh, as a young child. I was only 10, 12 year old. I had an interest in standing stones. And I thought, why are these all here? And thankfully, <laughs> the father guided me. Uh, I had some trauma in my life at a young age. And um, I didn't have a good father. I had a stepfather who wasn't a nice being. And uh, the Father in Heaven found me and taught me these things. And I would often go away to standing stones of my own. I'd run away quite a lot uh, because it was an abusive... Uh, he was an abusive man, my stepfather. Um, related to Trump, by the way, a Mackay. Uh, I have made a couple of posts. Um, he was from the Isles of Skye and the Trump, Trump family, the McLeods and the Mackays, have always intermarried. So it's no surprise that... Um, you know, the evil that came into my life that tried to destroy me um, is related to the same evil that's running um, 
the, the big fraud worldwide just now because Donald Trump is an absolute fraud. So let's take us back down to this waterway. What we're going to do is we're going to follow it and I'm going to show um, just how they're controlling us. So here's the dam and all this rubble we put in there just to block it up. Eh? But one thing I missed, well I never missed but I just it cut off. Notice this structure here to the side. So, massive structure, all derelict now, it's huge so it is, um, need to come have a look at it, need to get a group and we'll go down and have a swatch uh, to see what it is, there's steps going down, there's, you know, it's a big deep uh, basin basically, but this is not just, you know, a small structure, it's massive, um, these buildings at one time, residential properties now, but uh, these buildings at one time would have been part of this structure. Now, what exactly are these buildings? What were they? Um, why this height? Why so tall? These were um, machines, basically. The water would come in, and this this was a canal. It wasn't a railway. The water would come in, and the water would fill over into sluices, and um, gates, basically, would be opened, and this, this would fill up with salt water. As the tide came in, this would fill up, and they would harvest the salt water uh, for the production of um, hydrogen. And basically when you split um, water, water contains is H2O, or water is I should say, H2O, hydrogen and oxygen. And uh, yeah, you, if you pass electricity through um, water, you can split and create the hydrogen which gives you the fuel and oxygen which is, it can act as a coolant and um, also oxygen helps things grow. So you often find that these structures and these buildings had walled gardens. They, again, they weren't walled gardens. Um, these were salt pans for collecting the salt and the towers and buildings uh, were pulling down piazza electricity from the air. And if you follow anything or if you've read anything about Nikolai Tesla and the Tesla Tower, um, you know, I'm not talking fantasy and fiction here. You can pull electricity down from the air. You can light light bulbs. You can light a whole city uh, and power a whole city by pulling electricity down. And this is what they're hiding from us. Um, they're keeping us enslaved and servitude and moving along the ancient waterways. Um, we travel back and forward to work on these roads uh, from, you know, seven eight o'clock in the morning and then return again at night time and this is all to do with the celestial movements as the sun and moon and the constellations move over from you know from the rising of the sun until it's setting and the, these constellations were creating energy upon the earth and the waters and the canals or the dark spaces and the voids between the constellations were pulling in the energies and creating um, yeah energy all this energy so we're going to, we're looking at this here, this is um, a large star fort here, uh, it was a star fort I should say, but um, they completely demolished it um, and dug it down and I suppose in one way that's helped them get rid of this, this massive uh, waterway. This entire uh, area here, this field would have been a waterway, you can see here there's a ridge, uh, there's a ridge on the other side um, where people obviously walk their dogs and go for walks. Uh, along looking at the shores um, but this was a massive waterway here and where did this waterway go? Well it went in to feed the estates, the estator motors it went in to feed the buildings uh, or it circulate around the buildings and uh, the buildings themselves pull down the energy and this is what the likes of Donald Trump and everyone else, all these real estate owners this is you know real estate real estata motors this is what why they buy them up people ask me why why does donald trump buy so many golf courses uh, he, he's bought um ones up in the, the north then uh, the northeast of scotland uh, there's a whole hoo-ha over you know the many estate and newt between balmedia and newbra well these these here are all called links the word links uh, is Deeply, can I, uh, deeply tied to golf courses and uh, we'll look at that later on but at the moment uh, why are they buying them up? because energy still flows so 
your energy goes where your focus is. Eh? And uh, yeah, even though they've blocked them up, the heavens above never change. So you still have these canal ways or dark uh, black spaces, waterways, waters above, water below, in the canopy. Canopy, canals below. So in the canopy of the heavens, um, these energy lines and and such still exist, but down here they've hidden, us, hidden it from us. So this here was a starport, and um, on the previous video I showed how that the water came through here. You can see where the water came, and where we are now is we're at the the Gateway Business Park uh, in the northeast of Aberdeen. And this is where we just begin to move into the the House of Cephas, basically. Uh, the House of Cephas moves over this area. And we can actually plot, our ancestors plotted exactly where everything was. Now we can see this star fort here. You can see it um, completely hidden, taken out of sight, out of view. In between it, you have the waterways uh, around it, the waterway. And we'll follow this waterway here. Hope everybody's seeing this. Here's the Star Fort. It's a, a modern uh, business park. And like I said in previous videos, um, I suppose in the old days we called them merchants um, or Mercat. The Mercat, uh, Aberdeen has a Mercat cross. And the Merc is the word Mer, Mary, which means water. Those who trade on the water. So can we see that Star Fort here? There's a Star Fort right there, uh, hidden. Uh, and this was one here, and the waterways would have passed down through um, large industrial states, merchants. Uh, the new names for merchants is corporations. Everybody's registered as a corporation. And again, if you watch my other videos, the Babel in the Heavens or the Bible in the Heavens, Author Unknown, uh, the other videos that I've got on here, you'll see how this journey uh, through the heavens every day um, is is manifest and. Today we are made to go to work as I said, we're made to travel on these ancient waterways but we're not travelling the directions that our ancestors once knew. And um, the standing stones, um, which I'll show you, the standing stones themselves showed uh, showed us the movements, uh, showed us the water levels and the tide levels as they came in. So here we are uh, back again just north of uh, uh, sorry, just north of Port Lethen, yes. Uh, and that word there, Port Lethen, Leviathan, Lethen, Port, the Port, you see, a portal. Um, so this area here, another big star port, Baden Toy. Baden Toy, I'm not too sure if it's named after Baden Powell. Was it the guy who, you know, started um, the scout movement? Another paedophile. Uh, twister or a, a flip-flop probably not a male at all but you know some sort of fallen beast angel creature one who fell from the heavens so this baden toy is a, a large star fort and this here a golf course sandwiched between um, the Asda at Port Lethen and the reason why this is a golf course is because it links between the stars uh, you can see the water still there. It's all been sculptured around the golf course. This would have been the waterway that went round the starport. So you can see the water very much still there. Uh, but the golf course is a hiding them. Now, when I was looking at this, I, I've looked at this stuff for so long. But earlier today, as I started, you know, preparing to put this video together, I thought, um, when did golf courses appear? You know, so. Um, when were they, you know, so he, here's the, the history of golf. And the first thing that came up was in December 1650, the settlers of Fort, very important, Fort Orange, near present day Albany, New York. York, if you're familiar with uh, Combs Beaumont's work, you'll be aware that York, the original York in England, is Babylon. And this is why we have the Tower of Babel, because these were machines pulling energy down um, from the 
from the, the heavens above. And New York is simply the new Babylon uh, moved to America. But, you know, the first golf course was at Fort Orange, Albany. Alban. Albino. <laughs> Albion. So, these were uh, Dutch settlers that came and, you know, created the, the area as Albany today, as it says here, the Dutch settlers. Um, but golf actually has its origins in St Andrews. Um, most people know that the oldest golf course is in the world is St Andrews, and I think it was sometime uh, in the 1500s. So, why am I mentioning that? Because um, these elite families, uh, such as Trump, are buying up the waterways, and it's the waterways where the energy flows. And this happened in 15, the, or the first golf course in St Andrews was in 1568, I think, 1570. And if you've read the works of Combs Beaumont, um, the Britain Syria uh, conspiracy, uh, the Roman conspiracy, you, you will be aware that, um, that a great flood or a great catastrophe happened round about the 1500s, probably 1538, 1560. So within a few years, um, these waterways became choked up after the flood, after the del deluge, and um, golf began. Golf had its origin. Um, and why is that? Because the waters were no longer carrying the power, so they had to create something um, where people would visit these places and walk in these places because bear in mind what we are 70 80 percent water and salts in our body many different salts um related to you know the 13 months of of the year so they created this they needed energy so we are energy and we are connected to the stars we're from the stars so they had to get us into these places and so it was quite a thing uh, in the day uh, i suppose it was what the celebrities did, they played golf, and uh, the celebrity word celebrity is connected to the word star. So, very interesting here, I, was, I, was, um, I began by saying that my uh, interest was in standing stones, and it's the journey uh, finding standing stones that brought me to this knowledge. Um, so, here we have on the top of a hill here, Boswell's Monument, uh, a large tower, I don't know if we can get that. Up, let's see, Boswell's monument. Uh, let's look at the photographs. Let's just have a quick, a quick look at the photographs. Now, why would you build anything like that? Um, why would you build something like that, an octagon shape? What is that all about? These were machines. They were pulling down the electricity, and as the water passed around this very large mound, look at the large rocks. Um, <coughs> this too would have been a star for and as the water passed around these um, they harnessed the, the energies from the waters moving uh, please bear in mind that the waters above or the gaps between the stars are as below so these are not just random uh, you know towers and you know buildings they even their churches and all that they're not what they say you see this large wall all the way around this was to prevent the water and the water did come up very high this is very high but as the tides came in and these waterways filled up there were ch yeah, channels dug not far from here there's a large wall I can't remember the name of it we'll have a look at it later on uh, if we get a chance so these were actually machines pulling down uh, piezo electricity and then you know, look, look at the shape of that there what is that all about let's, let's click and see if we can get onto that uh, that image. What is that? You know, what is missing from that? What do you think is missing from that? Copper? Yeah? A copper dome, a bell, a ball, a master, a lord. <laughs> Something that pulled, that resonated the electricity down the tower and uh, created a vibration and created P as well electricity. Uh, vibrations is frequency. So, what I'm going to click on now is um, in fact, let's just close that. Um, let's go back. Can we go back without losing? No. Yeah. Never works the way you want it to, does it? 
so let's just shut that down we don't need that anyway so you'll see there's a quarry here so they'll get rid of the water here as I said they, they tend to you know this forestation is to get rid of the water and the water would have came round this starport here swirled around this hill this monument would have pulled it down and uh, right here we have let's 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 uh, jump to the megalithic portal uh, as I said my interest was in standing stones now look at this area uh, we're in this area here uh, Cold base just here these are all standing stones now what were the standing stones the standing stones had served a number of purpose they they mapped first of all the movement of the constellations above but also they were water markers as the waters and tides came in uh, standing stones would sit in the hills or sit in the embankments um, and you know they too were early machines standing stones stone circles were early machines so let's see if we can find that hell let's go back out again messed it up so there's the junction and hell side this, the names are all still there there's bad and toy see how this has standing stone there so let's go back you have got bad and toy star fort okay and I should be able to find I've been here uh, there we go there's the standard stones there so as the water traveled around here these were sort of measuring devices but not just measuring devices these would have had a large wall around them you can see that the, the circle still there and as the water bounced off uh, and f fast flowing and uh, this is where we get the word torrent as today like torrents online um, a torus field um, the, as the torrent swirled around it they would create um, electrical charge and the stones themselves would be electrified and people would go there to be healed and um, cleansed of you know whatever entities or spirits that were upon them uh, but today they blocked up the waterways so these things don't standard stones don't function as they used to uh, but they were also markers for the heavens uh, so that our ancestors knew uh, as the constellations moved over where to harness the energy and we'll go back to this map here you see that in a straight line here there's quite a few and that is because it's a waterway they follow a waterway uh, and when that waterway joins on to Mary Cooter, uh up here and this is hopefully where we're going to go today we're going to go follow this waterway so without further ado let's follow the waterway because I'm getting sidetracked here so um, yeah when when I was looking uh, enough, I did say without further ado, let's follow the waterway. But I need to I need to show something else, right? Back to this here, golf. The word golf. What does that mean? It's a very interesting word. So here we go. Golf, Scottish goof, usually taken as an alteration of the Middle Dutch golf, golf, which is a stick, a club, or a bat. Batman, bat, bat. From proto-Germanic golf. And it's probably where we get uh, Al Kluf. Um, Dumbarton Rock was called Al Kluf. Yeah. Uh, so it's Old Norse, which means a clapper or a bell. Now, think of churches, uh, think of the, the, the bells, the metal devices that are on top of the steeples. Like in the picture I just showed you there, there would have been something metal at the top of that tower, um, Boswell's Tower. So it's German. Colbin mace this is the interesting what club it's a big club butt end of a gun gun now the mace is what they use to open parliament the mace is what they use in america to open um the houses um i don't know what you call it can't remember what you call it um but the government um uh, bring in the mace and the fascia which is bound up probably where we get the word bond bondage um you know the legal bond uh, we are the, we are the, the strong tower we are like a tower each each living being 
is a conductor, like a like a tower or a steeple. Uh, each one of us, like a spire, our DNA aspires a spiral, um, a spiro, a spirit. Each one of us is, um, you know, yeah, like a tower, like a mace. Um, and this is probably where we get the word masonic. Yeah. So anyway, the game is from the 14th century. The word is first mentioned alongside football. Ball, Fuss Ball. In 1457, Scottish statue, or, or sorry, sorry, a Scottish statute on forbidden games, a later ordinance decrees that in no place of the realm there be visit foot, footballs, golf, or other such unprofitable sports. And it was an act passed by King James the Fourth, not King James the Fifth, but King James the Fourth. Now, why was that? We know everything about the evil about King James the. Um, the fifth and the, the King James Bible, but King James the fourth, actually, King James the fourth was murdered. The real King James the fourth was murdered in a place called Slains, Slains Castle, Old Slains Castle in Aberdeen, and you can find that out. Uh, why was he murdered? Because he was trying to stop this. Uh, people go on about, oh, King James, King James, he's evil, evil, he's worshipped demons. No, his imposter. An imposter came in. Uh, King James the Fourth was murdered in Slains Castle, and that's probably why it's called Slains uh, in Aberdeenshire. Uh, you can find this stuff online. It's it's there, and an imposter was put in place. His son, King James the Fifth, uh, the imposter's son, uh, became the one who re rewrote the Bible and gave us the Bible that we have now. So. There's been a deliberate attempt in history to completely hide and destroy uh, this knowledge of the heavens and this knowledge of as above, so below. And King James the Fourth, who was murdered at Slane's Castle in Aberdeenshire, uh, and then another another imposter uh, put in place. It was him and his father, and then later the royals. That, that have taken over, who have hidden all this stuff. So, let's go back to Boswell's monument. And we will, the standing stones around here, we will look at this waterway and then I'll finish off. This is a waterway here coming down, and you can still see bodies of water here, there and everywhere. And where does this water go? It, it ends up in Mary Cooter, which is tied to Mary and Peter. In this area here you've got Peter Cooter and Mary Cooter. Um, the cult Peter, the cult of Mary. And Peter is again taking us back into Peter, the house of Cephas, the pearly gates. They can't lie to us. Once you understand the heavens, you know who these people are. Once you understand that the spine of Albion is the tree of life, and that everything projects from Arthur's wheel through the tree of life, and it manifests to the ends of the earth. Once you know this, uh, no matter where you are, like in America, we, we looked there at um, Fort Orange. Okay, Fort Orange was where golf is said to have taken off in America. Now, if we look at, the name gives it away, a portal, Port Orange. This was the first golf course, and when was that? The first golf course in America was in December 1650. The settlers of present-day Albany, remember the word albino, Albin, Albion, Alba, uh, you know, the white ones. New York is Babylon, plays the first recorded round of golf. golf. Uh, again, what does the word golf mean? It means a maze, a club, a butt end, a clapper of a bell, you know. What what creates the clapper of the bell originally? What pulled? What made it? It wasn't people pulling on ropes. It was the the electricity hitting the tower, bzz, boom, and then banging the the metal to cause a vibration, which was then fed down the building. And it's all there, you know, the open parliaments with the mace, with you know, um, with the mace and the fascia, just just as the you know. They opened the gates of heaven <laughs> with the club that was the tower. When we read about the Tower of Babylon, 
this is where it's all connected to. It was an electrical device. They were piercing the habits and pulling the electricity down. Now, is that a bad thing? No, because if you read the book of Adam and Eve and the Cave of Treasures, um, which has been taken out of the canon of Scripture, you'll discover that um, the Star Force were created. And I've actually got a couple of videos on my Facebook page, probably, I think I will have one on YouTube too, and it basically is, what are star quotes, and it's a, a quote from the book of Adam and Eve telling you that the almighty creator created the, the corridors and shafts for the energies to move around, but somewhere in history, these usurpers, these royal bloods came along and took over the estates, took over the, the powerhouses, and then, um, yeah, took over the spires and steeples that pulled the electricity down just as we read about the Tower of Babel these were machines pulling energy down and they said let us be like God uh, we don't need a God we can be like God we have power um, this is what it all ties to so but um, let's go back to Fort Orange and just as it says it is a fort that's a star fort right there I can see across the water but I don't want to go there I want to look at Fort Orange where the first um, golf course is said to have to have been now why would you put a golf course in a port or a fort uh, and anyone who is familiar with star forts can quite clearly see that this is a star fort look at this area here this big wall and it's amazing as we go down um, this is known as the Empire State Plaza. Nowhere near the Empire State Building, but this is known as the Empire. Hilton Albany, taking us back to the word Alban. Um, and this whole area is a star fort, and the water can still be seen um, here and there. Now, you might be thinking, Stephen, you're just pull clutching at straws. I haven't got time to... to but I'm, I'm not. I haven't got time to look at it in detail. But let's just have a quick look at some of these buildings. So let's look at, these are more modern buildings, but look at these buildings here. Yeah, let's put it into 2D, we're looking at 3D. Let's, why would you design something like that? These were machines pulling down electricity. This is a star fort, and the water would have passed by here where the roads are. As I said, they have us travelling on the roads. Um, and these buildings were just huge devices. Now remember the tower we just looked at in Aberdeen. It was an octagon shape. Uh, it had something missing from the top. But um, these two have much, much of the metal work missing. But these things pulled down the electricity. Salt banks uh, gathered the, 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 the salt and it was split to give free power. These towers are all parts of machines. Um, I thought I would take a quick look away from Scotland and uh, look at um, this area in America since it is where it's recorded golf was first played. So look at the size of that machine. Look at the size of that. What beautiful structures, uh, but they weren't uh, they weren't living quarters. So I'm going to stop the recording now because uh, I can hear we making a lot of noise and I think I've taken up too much resources. Hopefully it saves. We're back in part C, 9C. Thank you.